The second lesson is 12 to area of circles. Um, we talked about circumference yesterday. Circumference is the distance around a circle. So for example, if this is your circle, you're looking for the distance around it. Well, area is what's inside of that circle. How much area is inside of that circle? And I'm not going to lie, a lot of times when I think of area uh, of any shape, I always think of if I was going to landscape or create a flower bed or have something to do with if I needed to uh, cover a pool. Or I th A lot of times I think of things outside with geometry and I think it's probably really, really useful if you're in that type of job. And so today we are talking about area of circles. First thing I want to do though is I just want to remind us again and talk about how to find circumference. So I want you to think about yesterday and there was two formulas that we could use to find circumference. See if you can recall the two formulas. One was 2 times pi times radius and the second one was diameter times pi. So two that you can use today. So circumference has two formulas. So if I was going to find the circumference of this, I would take 2 times 3.14 times the radius, because radius is halfway. So I would use the one on top. I would use this one. Notice how I'm putting it all together. 2 times 3.14 times 15.3. And the circumference is 96 point, I'm going to round it to 1, uh, we'll say centimeters, we'll say this is centimeters. So this would be the distance around. But like I said today, we're talking about what's inside. So this is the formula for area of a circle. There's only one formula for area of a circle. You cannot use diameter. Notice there's a radius in there, there's no diameter. So I'm going to write this out for you. It looks like this, pi times radius times radius. Radius squared would be the radius times itself. So I have people that get this mixed up a lot because they say this, and this are the same thing. They are not the same thing. This is taking the radius times itself. This is only taking the radius times two. So a lot of times people will mix up the circumference and area formula. But this is how to find the area of a circle. You would take 3.14 times whatever your radius is times whatever your radius is. And notice how there's nothing to do with diameter. It's all radius. So let's practice a little bit of this today. So here's my circle. Uh, I had 7.5 meters for the radius. So I like to write out my formula first. I just like to do that so I can see visually exactly what I need to have in my formula. So pi 3.14 times my radius, which is 7.5, times my radius, which is 7.5. I'm going to multiply all that together. And I got 176, I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, 176.6, this would be meters, and area is always squared. Now a lot of people ask me, why is area squared? Well, the reason is because we're talking about two dimensions, okay? When you talk about area, you talk about a length and a width. And if I was to take this and make it into squares, and all of the squares would be one meter by one meter, Okay, so if all these squares were a meter by a meter, this is how many squares I could fit inside that circle. So many people have no idea why area is squared. It's because it's literally saying how many squares of that unit of measure can fit inside of something. So if I would create this and I'd keep going, 176.6 squares could fit in here. And the squares would have to be a meter by a meter. All right, let's try this one. So notice I don't have the radius, I have the diameter. So I have to find the radius. And to find the radius, I'm going to divide by 2, because remember, radius is halfway across. So this would be 10.1 for the radius. So you might have to do some work beforehand to figure out what you need. This would be 3.14 times 10.1 times 10.1. And I'm going to do that quick on my calculator. And I got 320, I'm going to run to the nearest tenth again, 0.3 centimeters squared, meaning if I had centimeters in here that were squares, centimeters by the length and the width, I could fit 320 
0.3 centimeters inside of this square. Now remember, not everything is drawn to scale because 20 centimeters is not going to be this big. So I want to make sure that you know that too. It's not everything on here is not to scale. All right. So what about a semicircle? Uh, this is something that I know students get in trouble with because they know how to find a circle, but they don't know how to find a semicircle. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to draw what this whole circle would look like. Okay. So there's my whole circle. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the area of your whole circle. But I know you will probably only want this. We have to find the whole circle first. So if this is 18, I know the radius is 9. So it's going to be 3.14 times 9 times 9. Okay, so that's going to give me 254.3. Now this is the whole circle. If I only want half of that circle, because technically that's what it asked me for, it only asked me for half of it, I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide by 2. And this would be the area, and this would be, I'm sorry, inches squared. And this would be the semicircle. If you want a true formula for a semicircle in your notebook, this is what it is. Pi times radius times radius all divided by 2. This is the formula for a semicircle. Dividing by 2. Okay, let's try another type of problem. I'm going to go to one like this. And let's say this is my circle, but I just want to find the area of my shaded region. Here's my shaded region. Now there's a lot of ways that I could find the area of the shaded region, but the first thing I probably always have to do is I always probably have to find maybe what the big circle is, another way you could do it, and then you could find what the big circle is and subtract this out. Have to figure out what that is and subtract it out. Another thing you could do is you could find a semicircle, and then you could find this part. There are so many ways that you could do to solve this problem. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do it. So I am going to probably do my semicircle first. And then I'm going to find this part because if I find the semicircle, all I need to do is find this one. Um, oh, another way you could do it, you could find the whole thing and divide by four because there's technically four sections and then subtract out one of those sections from the whole thing. There are so many ways that you could do this. But like I said, I'm going to find the semicircle first. Okay, so it's going to be pi times radius times radius divided by two. And I know my 10 is my radius. So 3.14 times 10 times 10 divided by two. 3.14 times 10 times 10 divided by 2. So I know my semicircle is 157. Okay, so I know I'm going to erase some of this here. This is 157. Okay, now I know that this part here is also 157, but I'm going to divide that by 2 so I can find out what this is. So I'm going to take 157 and divide by 2. Because that's going to tell me what this is. 78.5. And then I'm going to take these two things and I'm going to add them together. 235.5 inches square. Like I said, so many ways you could do this. Another way you could do it is, like I said before, find the whole circle, divide by 4. And then you could take three of those parts and add them together. Uh, so many different ways. So don't think what I did here is the only way to do it. You maybe have another way in your head that you would rather find. Okay, so this is the last one I'm going to show you. Um, it's a donut, and it says find the area of the donut. So basically, I want you to find the area of the shaded region. Now to do this, I just want to find the donut. I don't want the donut whole because that doesn't have any area to it. There's nothing there. So I need to find like the area of the cake and the frosting part. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of the big circle. Okay, so my big circle is, let's see, this is 15 centimeters and this is 5. I know this is a total of 20 centimeters. So pi 
times radius times radius would be 3.14 times 20 times 20. Oops, 3.14 times 20 times 20. Oops, come back. Okay, so 1256 centimeters squared. Now that's the big one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the small one now. Even though I already found it in the big one, I still want to find my small one. So it's going to be pi times 5 times 5. 3.14 times 5 times 5. And that's 78.5 centimeters. And then with these two things, instead of adding them, I'm going to subtract them because I want to take that donut hole out of that whole big circle. Because when I find the big circle, you find everything. Now my goal is to take out this part. So if I find the whole circle and I remove the center piece, that's what I have left over of that big circle. So 1256 minus 78.5 and I get a 1177.5 centimeters squared. Here we go. So all I do is you work with my big circles and then work with my little circles or, you know, starting do what you do what you know. That's the, the basic thing. Start with what you know and work from there. So thanks for watching the whole video. If you have any questions, I will see you in class and we'll practice a little more together. Thanks for watching.